All right, welcome, Coach. To Coach. Coaching Youth Hoops. Coaches, welcome. Welcome, welcome, all of you coaches out there. Pretty exciting. It's September. So, yeah, yeah. September, yeah. I know. September. We like September. Uh, before like we get fall. into talking about uh, monitoring player development, which you all know that that's what you came here to listen to because you saw it in the title, uh, let's that's give right. a big shout out to our sponsor, Coach. Yeah, uh, coaches, go check out Game Changer. Go to gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. They uh, are our prod sponsor. Uh, it helps keep the lights on and the, in the uh, I guess, the words uh, coming out the microphone uh, to all you guys. Uh, again, Game Changer. Uh, they, um, it's an amazing app to track your stats, monitor progress for your players. You can see their development over um, a season. Uh, and you can provide that you can provide your uh, players feedback. Um, also, um, if, if a parent can't make it to a game, they can see the games live. Again, that's at gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. Boom. Mike, Mike dropped. There we go. That's right. I can actually drop my mic because it's been acting up. But all right. So what's today's topic, coach? And we're going to talk about actually monitoring player progress so um really diving into how often do you do it when do you do it how do you do it who does it um so various various um you know what should you be looking at for players um you know it might be different from third through eighth right. grade right uh so how do you um yeah so that yeah just diving into just player development like and giving them feedback and, it, and, it's, and it's different during the heat of your season, probably, than in preseason or at the end of your season or in the off season. I think there's different s- stretches to this, too. So are we really probably talking about during the season? Like, yeah, during or... during the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. want every – I mean, that's why you coach, right? You want your players to improve, are they? Right. right? Um, and, you know, because players – I mean, the good players will always ask, what can I do, Right. right. Is there something I can work on? All right. Or I, you know, you know, I, I, I always tell my players, you know, I don't determine your playing time. You do. So what, you know, by your improvement, by your, by your energy and effort and practice, um, you know, by your attitude. Right. So, and I think there's some individual, there's, there, there's definitely individual feedback is important. I always try to use a three to one, four to one positive to negative, Um, you know, sometimes you have to jump in on that negative, especially, especially if they're they're doing something that's, you know, (laughs) well, hurt themselves or something like that. But, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You never, or detrimental to the team, right? Yeah. But I think it's, um, I think it's really being, you know, when you, again, and I, and I'm, and I'm a firm believer in, in, you know, not stopping a lot. And, and, you know, it's not stopping, correcting, stopping, correcting, stopping, correcting, stopping, correcting. That doesn't work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But it's got to be specific. It's got to, and you have to tell them what you want them to do rather than sometimes you have to show them. And, I, and often I'll pull them out if, I, especially if I have another assistant, it's great because maybe they're doing something with their pivot foot or maybe they're mm-hmm. shot. It's like I can, when I can give them individual by themselves with me, that's the best. Sometimes in my opinion, you can't always do that, especially in big groups. Um, right. But I think you really have to be specific on it. And, and even with it, even with something that's bad, I usually start with a positive, even if it's one to one, I'll do that. I usually start with a positive. Hey, I love the way that you're running on the court, but Mm, mm, mm. um you know to especially at the youth level because they're really only going to hear the negative and you got to throw some positives into that you know gray matter on there a little bit um (laughs) get them to come back uh what's your thoughts coach yeah i uh two things so one is i try to do the sandwich technique right which is positive then a uh something that can in the middle that they can improve upon. And the last thing is a, is a, something positive. So it's kind of the sandwich technique of giving feedback um, that seems to work. And, you know, kids want feedback. They want to improve. It's all about your delivery, just like with anybody, right? Your spouse, your, you know, your best friend, your assistant coach doesn't matter. Right. Um, 
we want to get better and so do kids. And it's just, you know, they're going to be more apt to accepting that feedback if you're generally positive, even if it's a negative or a negative, you know, something that they need to do, really need to do right now, right? Um, they're going to be definitely more open to it if they know your body of work is positive, enforcing, incur- um, reinforcing and encouraging. Um, I think that's really important. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, yeah, that's, and, and people need to understand that facial expressions, you know, 60% of your communication yeah. is facial expressions. So you'd be saying something positive, but if you look like they just ran over your dog, it's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. And that's, yes. where, and that's where game change would come in. If you were taping practice, you could look at your facial expressions to see what it is. Look at your but, facial expressions. Well, and, and, you know, in a previous podcast, we talked about using Game Changer and looking at your facial expressions during a game. <laughs> it's just as important, right? That's all part of that communication and that feedback that you're giving kids. Right. In this case, we were talking about during a live game situation. But I think yeah. the other part is what's really important. And this is kind of this is more of the communication piece of, of this is what is the outcome you're expecting and, and and to make sure that's communicated. So when they don't, when you do give, if you didn't do that and you gave them feedback, they said, no, I did that. Or, uh, well, I didn't know what you meant. Right. Uh, you know, they're going to interpret whatever you say, how, however they want, but if it's really clear, here's the outcome I'm looking for. Uh, you know, that could be through a demonstration before you show them how to do something that could just really be making, here's my expectations of this X, whatever you're working on at the time. Um, and then, you know, and then, you know, also that the feedback part of this is setting those expectations up front. So when you do give them feedback, they know exactly, oh yeah, I, yeah, I deserve that because, you know, the expectations were set up front. Um, if that's through your culture or whatever you're doing, um they violate something right you know that hey when coach is talking we hold the balls right uh right no dribbling while coach is talking right we're locked in we're we're standing here we're doing this yes i think some of those yeah some of those clear and precise expectations can can encourage a lot i think um and and really what we're talking about here is that individual quick feedback what about yeah you know do you do it multiple times per year where you're just kind of sit where you, you know, it's more planned. It's more, Hey, I'm going to sit down with each kid today um, for five minutes and give them, you know, their stats from game changer, right? Here's your rebounding. Here's your X, here's your Y, you know, Hey, you know, this is how you compare to the other team without giving out names and that comparison, but this is the percentile you you're, you're, you're in. And, um, again, age appropriate on all of this stuff. I just want to reiterate that, right? Right. What you say to a third grader and maybe the info you give there is a lot different than an eighth grader, right? Right. Um, or in your case, the high school kids too. So, um, but how often would you suggest more, I'll call it more formal, we'll call it more formal sit down sessions? Yeah. How, how do I how do I format them? Yeah, how do you feel about it? Is it at the youth level? I mean, we doing that. I once think they're year, good. I would year, definitely mid-year? think more middle school than elementary school for sure. Um, for sure, yeah. The, la- the so later fifth grade. Yeah, yeah, I want to know if I would grade. do it before fifth, but it's definitely six mm-hmm. on. I think they can mm-hmm. have that conversation with you a little bit more, and you can, you know, I would have a handout. I would have something concrete. So Jack or Jane or day sean or whatever go don't go home and say dad my basketball coach says i'm ha- horrible and i can't dribble well that's not actually what i said and then right you know the handout's always a good fallback on that um so i think some of those things is is you know again or have the parent there you know especially if you're dealing with a younger it's like um Sometimes you can have the, especially with the younger kids, you can have them there just to kind of hear what you're saying. It's like, oh, you're doing so well, but here's the things, blah, blah, blah. And it, definitely, I always did those in the in the postseason um, things. It's like, yeah. here's what you can work on, and here's how we can help, and how can I help you? And um, But we're, this is more, 
in in season stuff i would keep it i would definitely keep it in a tiktok series like short and sweet short. yeah less than 30 and, seconds and, you know yeah and and very yeah just don't give them don't overload them give them one specific thing they can work on one, before yeah. next practice or this month right yeah um, I yeah, want to give yeah, them too absolutely. many things to do. All right, let's give uh let's give a summary and uh give a big shout out again to coach. Yeah, so again, player feedback is important. You want to see progress in your team. Um use something like Game Changer to monitor their game stats. So gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. You can see that and give them feedback based on watching the footage, which game changer will capture, and then the actual stats as well. Uh, but, you know, think of whatever technique you want. You know, wh what was your rule, coach? Your one, three, one, was it? Usually three, it's usually three, three positives for one negative. Okay, three, yeah, three positive, one negative. And I use the sandwich technique. You know, you start with the positive in the middle. There's some, you know, criticism or criticism is not the right word, but you get, you get some feedback that things they need to improve and on. Usually if I, if I try to do three to one, I'm usually one to one or two to one you know it's like mm -hmm. you sometimes forget but um you know we're not perfect but that's you just got to think of if you're thinking about it i think it helps a little bit so yeah and the, the your tone and your body language when you communicate those quick little things during practice is is important right right um and and then i guess one one thing i i will add which i do all the time is i'll usually i'll pick one person to practice to after practice as they're kind of just walking out hey can you, you got two seconds i just want to get, tell you something right? right um and then i'll give them a quick piece of you know positive feedback and something they did or really like really liked what they did during practice and just so you know they walk out with a big smile on their face right and that practice was fun and right everybody likes to be told that they're doing something great so quick, yes. good little thing all right and then give a big shout out to our sponsor coach Yep, go to gc.com forward slash uh, coaching youth hoops. gc.com forward slash uh, coaching youth hoops. Coach is having a little, like, there you go. Yeah. I know, I'm pausing there. I'm like, pausing. I should know that you're, yeah. You should know that URL. All right, have a great yeah. day, everybody.